And we're back. This time I'm going to show you how to recreate the Harris effect in Photoshop. Let's open a new image, give it a new name and thus unlock it. Open a new layer for the background. After the bucket tool selected, make sure the foreground color is white and click on the layer. Now we will select the model. I'm going to speed up the process a little bit. If you have never selected a model from an image, just check out my videos. I've got a special video where I show you how to create a white background in an image. And in that video, it is in detail explained how to cut out especially models in images. When you're done with your basic selection, click on the layer mask and then select and mask. Increase the radius a little bit. Oh, that was too much. Like so. Then make sure to have the Refine Edge Brush tool activated and the plus sign also. And then go over the area where the hair should be selected a little bit better. When it comes to these images, it's always the more time you put into it, the better the results will look. Let's open a second image, press enter and once again select the model by using the quick selection tool. This one's a bit easier to select. Once again click on the layer mask when you've got your basic selection done, then select and mask, increase the radius slightly. And then go over the area where there is hair with your Refine Brush tool. When you're happy with your results, just click on OK. And we'll open the final image for our effect. Same game, press Enter, select the model. I'm going to speed this up once again. You will find all of the images that I've used via the description links below this video. Basic selection done. Click on layer mask, select that mask, increase the radius a little bit, and then work on the hair through a fine brush. Once again, click on OK when you're happy with your results. And now we've got our three basic images and we will move them around, work a bit on the composition. Let's rename them to one, two, three. Let's make them a little bit smaller, press Ctrl T and then you can transform the images. But we have a problem with this one, as you can see on the top. So I'd much rather make all of the images a bit bigger. And I have to adjust the composition slightly. Let's make this bigger also and put this layer on top to see the composition. Yeah, that looks fine. After we're done, have the second layer activated, right click blending options and under blending options directly you will find the channels and deselect two of them. Click the same with our third layer, right click blending options, channels, deselect two of them. and our first layer as well. We will only have the green channel checked. And this is now our basic effect. It's called the Harris shutter effect. It doesn't really make a difference when it comes to the order of the layers after the effect is done. 
but it's easy to do. We can mess around a little bit with the opacity. To adjust the image to your liking. I personally like it that way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.